Hello everyone. Today we are going to do writing a place or a camping site review. With me. Now let's open your download textbook and go to page 118 and 119. Okay, on page 118, you will see exercise 4 or activity 4. Okay, you see the advertisement. You see this advert in an international travel magazine. Reviews wanted. Holidays for teenagers. We want reviews of holidays designed for teenagers. Your review should include information about the place, the food, and what activities there are. Would you recommend this holiday to other people your age? The best reviews will be published in our magazine. Okay, so that's the standard of the question. Don't worry about it. Now, you need to underline four things you must include in your review. What are those? The place, the food, the activities, and also you must state whether you would recommend it or not uh, this holiday to other people your age. Okay, now let's look at activity 5 or uh, question 5. Okay, read this review written in... Answer to the task 4 and underline the topics of paragraphs 2, 3, and 4. Okay, so you will see this in your page 118 of your download textbook. Okay, underline the topics of paragraph 2. The hotel. Okay, so you are going to describe about the hotel. Paragraph 3. The meals. And paragraph 4. Daily program of extreme sports or in other words, the activities. Okay, answer these questions about the review. Does the writer answer all four points asked in the task? Okay, what are the four points asked in the task? The first one, the place, yes. Okay, the place, the hotel, the food. Okay, they are talking about the evening meals in the third paragraph. The activities, a daily program of extreme sports lesson. Okay, so you can find that in the fourth paragraph. And would you recommend this holiday to other people your age? The last paragraph, I wouldn't recommend. I would recommend. So it's up to you. Okay, you can say that I would recommend this place for you or you can say I wouldn't recommend this place for you. Okay, the second question. Are there any negative comments made about the holiday? This can be annoying sometimes. Uh, where is it? Find it. Where is it? Uh, so you can find it in the... Which paragraph? This can be annoying sometimes. In, this, in the last line of the second paragraph, isn't it? Okay, number three. Circle the two phrases used to introduce the writer's own experience. I, when I was there. The other one, during my stay. Okay, so when you are talking about your experience, when you are writing about your experience, you must use past tense. Okay, which tense is used to describe the writer's own experience? Ah, using the past tense. Was. When I was there. And then you, he used, uh, or he or she used the word relaxed. Uh, chose. And then spent. Okay, which tense is used to describe the hotel in general? You must use present because maybe the hotel is still there, isn't it? Okay, so you must use the word, uh, the, use the present tense to describe the hotel in general. Next, in which paragraphs does the writer recommend the holiday? Number one, okay, paragraph one, would you enjoy? If so, Tin Village is southern, in southern Spain is the perfect holiday destination for you and also at the last paragraph, I wouldn't recommend Teen Village to couch potatoes, but if you are an energetic party animal, then this is the place for you. Okay, the, the next question is, what kind of teenager does the writer recommend it to? Someone who enjoys staying in a beautiful place with lots of exciting things to do, in paragraph 1, and an energetic party animal, in paragraph 5. Okay, so these questions, these seven questions, you can find it in activity 6 of page 119. Next, we go to page 119, activity number 9 or exercise 9. 
Okay, summer camps for teenagers. We want reviews of summer camps for teenagers. Your review should include information about the place, the food, and what you can do there. Would you recommend it to other people your age? The best reviews will be published in next month's magazine. So you can find that on page 119. Okay, remember the points asked. You must state the place, the food, what you can you do there, meaning the activities, and would you recommend it to other people your age? Okay, so let's start with the plan. Okay, so let's look at the plan. Write your review in about 140 to 190 words. First, you need to have the title. So what is the title of this review? Okay, first you need to have the title of, uh, of this review and let's say the name of the camp is Cool Summer Camp. Okay, so I, uh, they just put the name of the camp. Okay, in paragraph 1, you need to introduce the name and location of the summer camp. Indicate whether your review is positive or negative. Okay, let's look at the uh, word language bank. Okay, the language bank given. Location in the mountains or forest beside a beach or river or lake. And recommendation, whether you recommend it. If, then this camp is for you. Don't miss it. Book your place now. It might not suit. Okay, so whether it is positive or negative. Okay, so this is the example of the sentence, of the sentences. Okay, so let's look at this introduction. Cool Summer Camp is located in a forest in the district of Ranau, Sabah. Okay, so I just put it. If you enjoy staying at a beautiful place surrounded by nature, then this camp, and then this is the camp for you. Okay, so if you can also... Uh, write a negative review or it might not suit those who do not like being too close to nature okay so i put the word or there uh, whether you want to put it or not okay it's up to you but if you want to put both if you want to write both negative and positive then you don't have to write the word or so you just straight away after the word this camp uh, this is the camp for you and then you just continue, it might not suit those who do not like being too close to nature. So it can be pro and cons, okay? Next, we go to paragraphs 2 to 4. Describe and comment on the place, the food and activities. Okay, maybe paragraph 2, the place. Paragraph 3, the food. Paragraph 4, the activities. Okay, let's look at the sample of the sentences. Okay, so in paragraph 2, you are going to describe about the place. Okay, so you are going to talk about the, ca the campsite, tents, rooms, bunk beds, showers. Okay, now let's look at the sentences together. The campsite includes a beautiful area of open ground where we can pitch our tents. If you don't like camping outside, you can choose the small rooms with the bunk beds. Showers are provided which are clean and spacious. Okay, so ada orang tanya, bang beds tu apa? Bang beds tu maksudnya katil, double decker, katil, dua tingkat. Okay, orang ada kawan tidur atas, kamu tidur bawah. Okay, so that is the meaning of bang beds. Okay, next, we go to paragraph 3 and to describe the food. Okay, so how uh, how do you cook the food? Okay, is it, uh, do you have barbecues? Okay, do you have pack lunch? Alright, now, this are the sentences there is a large selection of food provided at the summer camp which are delicious yet healthy when i was there okay so when i was there so you use the uh, past tense because you are talking about your experience we enjoyed having barbecues which was available too okay please remember to look at the spelling of the word barbecues the only downside was that there was very limited choice of food for vegetarians. As simple as that. Next, we go to paragraph 4. Talking about the activities. Okay, now you are going to write about the activities. Okay, well organized. Do you have instructors? Do you have water sports? Do you have arts and crafts? Okay, let's look at the sample of the sentences. The summer camp offers an amazing variety of well organized activities with instructors to guide us. During my stay, Okay, so this is your experience. Most of us chose the water sports and arts and crafts 
as they were most interesting. Okay, the last one will be your paragraph 5. Make your recommendation. Okay, so those are the uh, phrases that you can use in your last paragraph. Now, name. Okay, so the name of the summer camp, cool summer camp, is perfect for teenagers who want to take a break from the hectic city and school life. Book your place now. Okay, so that is also a way to, uh, to recommend. Or you can say, but if you're an introvert looking for a place to relax, this might not be a suitable place for you. So you can write either one or you can write all. Uh, but please remember, if you want to write both negative and positive, please don't write the word all. You just straight away. Okay, right? If you're an introvert looking for a place to relax, this might not be possible. Uh, this might not be a suitable place for you. Okay, so please remember, so this is the summary. So when you write the review of the campsite or the place, okay, so in paragraph one, you must state the name of the place, the location, and to state whether you enjoy, um, if you enjoy the camping or the place or not, okay, relate to the nature of the place, then this is the place for you. Okay, so in the first paragraph, you can make a recommendation. Okay, paragraph two, you describe the place. Okay, paragraph 3, you describe the food. Paragraph 4, you describe what kind of activities that you can do there. And in paragraph 5, you write the recommendation whether you would recommend it or you, wouldn't re you would not recommend it. Okay, now I want you to write a review of a place. Okay, so this will be an advantage for those who join the uh, Perkemahan Perdana Badan Beruniform eh, with Cikgu Azrul. Okay, so the name of the place is Camp Rekreasi Gunung Sungai Gading Hulu Bernam Hulu Selangor. Okay, so maybe after uh, you come back okay, from the camping on the 16th of October, okay, so you can write the review of the place. Okay, uh, by writing the name and location of the place, and you can indicate a negative or positive recommendation. And in your body paragraphs, you can describe and give your comments on the place, food, and the activities. And don't forget to use the adjective. Okay, please look at the sample that I gave just now. Okay, what kind of adjectives that I use? Okay, and also you uh, write your conclusion by making a recommendation. Okay, so that's it for today.